Hola and bienvenido to the Spanish department. Thank you for your interest in studying Spanish next year. So AS Spanish in year 13, that leads on then to A2 Spanish, the full day level. And the examining board is, is with SIA. Uh, the total mark for the AS exam in, in year 13 is 40% of the A level. Uh, and then that means that there's 60% of the A level uh, with the A2 qualification. So a quick outline of the course and assessment. Uh, there's three units. The first unit in year 13 is the speaking exam, and that's based around the topics which we study in year 13. For example, there you see them, family, healthy living, Spanish culture, etc. Uh, and you also do a short presentation of three minutes about a topic that, that interests you. Uh, I actually examine this topic for SIA, so you, you should be well prepared for that exam. The second exam, Unit 2, is a listening, reading and writing exam based on, on those topics. And that exam is worth 40%. Uh, and finally, the third unit then is uh, a film. We watch this film called El Bola. And we do an essay of around 250 words based on, on the film. As you move into A2 then, in year 14, the first unit again is this, the speaking exam. Very similar to the exam in year 13, but you can see the topics are, are different. School and careers is, is, is very popular. And, and of course, we study that one in year in GCSE as well. Uh, and that speaking exam is worth 30% of the A2 qualification. The Unit 2 then, again, it's a reading, writing and listening exam based on the topics. The exam is worth 40%. And finally, it's not a film this time, it's, a, it's a, an author we study who wrote a, a play called La Casa de Bernardo de Arba. And again, we do an essay on that, and that's going to be worth 30%. The skills you develop, well, cultural awareness, social skills, uh, uh, you know, covering all aspects of, of Spain and living in Spain. Obviously, your communication skills, which is going to be so important for you going forward in listening, reading, writing and speaking. Also, Apart from what we do in the classroom, you need to be a good independent learner. And again, with doing the speaking exam, boys, you will, it's almost like learning interview skills because you have to be able to talk to uh, someone, which would be me, in that one-to-one -one situation. In terms of careers, you can study Spanish just straight at university, or what a lot of people choose to do is combine it with another career path. So, for example, business or marketing or law, uh, journalism, politics, translation. Uh, uh, there is a vast array of options available to you. So, studying Spanish, it, it's remember, it's a skill for life. The ordering meals, living abroad, looking into the hotel, greeting people, awareness of Spanish culture, that's a skill you'll never lose. Uh, we, two years ago, we did run, we did organise a trip to Barcelona for the Spanish students, but of course that, that's not possible just at the moment. So hopefully, I wouldn't think this coming year, but hopefully for the following year, we can get that trip uh, organised again. In year 13 and 14 as well, during your study periods, uh, we do organise an extra timetable class for you to help you with your speaking. And it's not it's just not all what we do in class. We encourage you to watch a bit of Spanish TV, listen to radio, uh, podcasts, look at magazines, etc. And there are loads of online language sites now to help you to help you learn. And finally, we just want you to have we just want you to have fun. So gracias, thank you for listening, and all the best.